On top of breaking news right now, out of Colbert County, the Sheriff's Office confirming to Way 31, two law enforcement officers were shot in Muscle Shoals. Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live now. Brecken's along Avalon Avenue for us this afternoon. Brecken, what do we know so far? Well, Marie and Dan, we know that those two officers that were shot are not Muscle Shoals police officers. The chief did confirm with me that one of those officers shot is a Sheffield police officer. A suspect was also shot. There is no word on those three people's conditions, but we do know that there is a deceased person that was here in the road on Avalon Avenue, and the coroner's van just showed up and loaded that body into the truck. Now, the Muscle Shoals police chief did confirm with me that the deceased person is somehow connected to these two officers being shot as well as the suspect. And we're working to learn those details right now. There are actually two scenes, and that's this one here on Avalon Avenue and then another one uh, near Walmart and Tractor Supply. Way 31's Brecken Terry reporting live for us again. We know law enforcement officers have been shot in Muscle Shoals. We will continue to follow this story for you all afternoon. More details coming up on Way 31 News. Marie. And until then, we will send it back to programming. We're on top of breaking news as we come on the air now at 4. Two law enforcement officers have been shot in Colbert County. Muscle Shoals Police confirmed one of those officers is a Sheffield police officer. This is all happening near the Walmart and Shoals Southgate Shopping Plaza. I'm Marie Waxel. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Our team of reporters is on top of this story for you right now. We want to begin with Way 31's Brecken Terry this afternoon. She joins us live at the scene. Brecken, tell us, what do we know at this hour? Well, Marie, we now know that two of those officers that have been shot are both Sheffield police officers. Just looking through, we know that there are several schools in the area. Do you know if any of those schools are on lockdown at this hour? Oh, we, I believe that we did know that some of those schools, uh, specifically Muscle Shoal City Schools, went on lockdown very briefly, but they did let out of school as normal. We have some viewer video we wanted to bring you very quickly to show you. We did hear, and, and in fact, Brecken mentioned this, that there are accounts that this all started from, you know, eyewitness accounts that this all started with a police chase that ended in gunfire between the police officers and this suspect, apparently, and it ended in the Walmart parking lot. You're looking at some of this video right now from a viewer who sent this in. This is uh, Demarius Jackson sent this to us via Facebook and we are watching this right now. You see a lot of bystanders standing around there just watching what was going on. This is obviously after the major police shooting happened and uh, police trying to figure out exactly what was going on. This is that same video that we were watching, Dan, just moments ago mm -hmm. before we came on air. You could hear them saying they're shooting in Muscle Shoals. You could hear them kind of reacting to what was unfolding. And ultimately, this is that scene. It appears that this is that scene where Brecken was at behind the Walmart there um, in Muscle Shoals. This is, again, that South, the old Southgate Mall area there off of Avalon Avenue. This viewer video, a lot of people just kind of caught off guard when this all happened. You could hear it uh, in that video as it was playing back as we were watching this video. Again, this video just in to our newsroom this afternoon. Our uh, Sky Camera Network has actually uh, captured a little part of this scene as well. This is from our Muscle Shoals radar site, actually. We have a camera up there on that tower, and you can kind of get a, a, a visual of where you are. If you, if you know this area, you know what we're looking at here. You can see various police officers still on the scene there. A lot of cars, a lot of slow-moving traffic in this area. Obviously, you, you'll want to avoid this area at, uh, if at all possible. Brecken, what is this new information that you have? Yeah, guys, I just spoke with Helen Keller Hospital, and they told me that two of those shooting uh, people that were shot were taken to Helen Keller Hospital, and then they were med flighted to Huntsville Hospital. Jay, you are familiar with uh, police shootings. Obviously, you have no details on this shooting, to be exact, but when you hear something like this, what, what goes through your mind? Uh, first thing is anger. Uh, it, it's, it's one of these things that I dealt with way too much as the United States attorney. Uh, certainly dealt with it when I was an assistant district attorney in Madison County. You know, what we're experiencing across the country right now is in 20, 000, or 2021, 241 law enforcement officers have been shot. 44 officers have been killed by a gunfire. 93 officers shot in 75 uh, ambush-style attacks. 
This is unacceptable. That's a live look at Muscle Shoals. We also have a live picture for you right now of Huntsville Hospital. And as Breck and Terry told us just a few moments ago, two of those victims have been airlifted to Huntsville Hospital, which is a level one trauma center here in North Alabama for treatment. Huntsville police officers released this statement. It says our thoughts and prayers are with the two officers shot in the line of duty this afternoon in Muscle Shoals. We hope they both make a full recovery. Right now, we do know two people have been transported, flown, in fact, by medevac helicopter from Helen Keller Hospital in the Shoals to Huntsville Hospital mm -hmm. here in Huntsville. Way 31's Alexis Scott is there right now with an update. Alexis. Yeah, Dan, that's right. I'm right here in front of Huntsville Hospital. Now, just about 10 to 15 minutes ago, I did see one helicopter that landed here at Huntsville Hospital. Dan and Marie, I can tell you here in Sheffield that we are seeing a lot of uh, police officers from other agencies kind of gathering up here at Sheffield Police Headquarters here in town. The road here at Governor's Drive actually opened back up. There was a huge motorcade here. I'm standing here with Trey. He owns the Bel Loom bar here in Muscle Shoals and Trey tell me an exact timeline tell our viewers exactly what you had seen what you had heard so about it was about 145 you know I heard some popping noises and I was inside my shop working on some stuff for the weekend and I was like there's no way that was a gunshot in the middle of the day on the main street in Muscle Shoals. We're taking a live look at Huntsville Hospital as we follow breaking news on Way 31. Inside that hospital, a Sheffield police officer fighting for his life after being wounded in a shootout in Muscle Shoals this afternoon. A suspect in that shooting identified now as Brian Martin. We've been on top of this breaking news story since it uh, first broke this afternoon at about 3 o'clock. We have team coverage tonight bringing you all of the latest details. We're going to begin with Way 31's Matt Croshall. He is live in Muscle Shoals at the scene where this shooting ended up. Uh, again, a very chaotic afternoon here, and you can see just the amount of response from law enforcement to this shopping center parking lot here behind the shopping center at the old mall. I'm going to step out of the way. We're going to show you a little bit closer to where all of this ended. Now we're being told that both Sheffield and Muscle Shoals police officers returned fire during this shootout with a suspect that ended right here. And you can actually see in the windshield of the SUV there of a Sheffield uh, police officer a bullet a uh, hole where a round went through the windshield. We're told now by police that those officers returned fire at the suspect during this shootout through their own windshields. All of this happening here as shoppers were in this parking lot. We, we lay our heads down at night and pray that we never have to go through this. Two Sheffield police officers shot in the line of duty. One of those officers now fighting for his life. You're taking a live look outside Huntsville Hospital. You can see a police presence outside showing support. The Colbert County Sheriff's Office says Officer Nick Reisner is in critical condition there. He's been with Sheffield Police since March of 2012. Those who know him say he's a guy many people love and respect. The other officer, Lieutenant Max Dodson, safe and recovering after shots hit his bulletproof vest. The suspect, meanwhile, Brian Martin, was also shot. He is in stable condition, also at Huntsville Hospital. And we know Martin pleaded guilty to manslaughter for killing his father back in 2013. He was released from prison in 2016. We also now know another person died at the scene. No word yet on that person's identity. I'm Nikkel Williams. And I'm Dan Schaefer. We have been on top of this breaking news story for you all evening. We have live team coverage tonight, starting with Way 31's Breck and Terry. And Breck, and how did all this start? Well, Nikhil, this is where it ended. This is behind the Muscle Shoals uh, Walmart, and officials literally just cleared that scene. They took all the tape down. There were multiple tow trucks here taking various police officer vehicles away. Here's what we know right now. The Sheffield Police Chief confirms with me that Nick Reisner was flown to Huntsville Hospital. He is in critical condition. Uh, that is because Brian Martin came here and opened fire on those officials. Now, Max Dotson, the other police officer in Sheffield, uh, he was shot, but that bullet was actually stopped by his bulletproof vest and Dotson is out of the hospital tonight actually spoke with him earlier and he was on his way to Huntsville Hospital to be with Sergeant Nick Reisner's family now Muscle Shoals police told me this all started on Avalon Avenue and that's video you're looking at right now now people heard a shot and then they saw a body being pushed out of the car Martin was in 